everybody, it's Paul from Karis Benko, and today I'm here to talk about a brand new pen that we haven't really even hinted at, we haven't talked about. Um, the only way you may have seen this is uh, we had a couple prototypes at the St. Louis Pen Show, and then there's kind of been a little bit of hints in some of the videos that we've taken. Um, some of the giveaway videos, I've had like a, a prototype on the table at, at a few different times and used them. Um, in some of the pen, in some of the videos that we did for that um, in the past, but um, we're ready to do an initial release on this pen as far as um, what we're basically terming like the version three prototype of the new pen. So um, we'll get right into it, and I'll give you all the specifics on the pen real quick. Um, hopefully, it won't take up a lot of your time. But what you can see in front of me, and you're probably seeing images of this right now. Um, is our new signature series fountain pen that we are calling the Vertex. So um, what this pen is, is it's in the signature series, much like the Decagraph, um, largely because it was designed initially around um, non-metal. Uh, the, the first two versions of it are done in acrylics. Um, and we, we have some other ones that are done in some celluloids and we've done some prototyping in ebonite. Um, so this pen was prototyped, designed and prototyped and made on our machines, specifically in plastics from the, from the get-go. Um, and much like we've done with the Decagraph, you know, it will work with, um, with some material, some metals down the road. We're going to, we're going to kind of work with that further down if you're curious about that. Um, but for now, um, these are available in acrylics. And so what we have are the black acrylic and green acrylic that we did the standard version of the Decagraph in. And the grip sections are done in semi-translucent and translucent material, uh, colored materials, uh, in, in such a way that you have like an ink window uh, technique where there's enough of the, the grip section visible because it goes past your normal transition point and there's a larger part of the ink window visible so that you can kind of see it. Even when it's capped, you're going to see a little band of non, um, of, of translucent material that is the grip section. Uh, so these pins are eyedroppers. Um, if you're familiar with that, uh, if not, we do have a video where we talk about eyedroppers. You can go ahead and refer to that. But an eyedropper is basically a pen where you fill the barrel of the, the pen with your ink, and that's your ink supply. It goes straight to the nib. There's no cartridge or converter. Um, and while this pen can take a cartridge, it will not accept a converter. Um, now, with the Decagraph, um, you have to use silicone grease and grease the threads um, for your nib and the grip section. Uh, but on this pen, we've done something a little bit different where we've kind of tried to eliminate the need to use silicone grease as much as possible. And we've basically machined two O-ring grooves, one in the body, one in the barrel, past the threads so that it seals up on a shoulder and basically tightens up so you don't need to use, you shouldn't need to use silicone grease. Um, won't, it shouldn't leak out, the, 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 the ink should not leak out. Then we've also put a small O-ring behind the nib in the grip section. You can't, it's really difficult to see, even on close-up shots, you may be seeing some close-ups close -up, close of the grip section, but it's really difficult to see. There's a little black O-ring in there, but when you tighten down the nib, it seals up, pushes up against that, and basically closes it off, gives you that airtight seal. Now, something that we adapted from the Starliner pens is that this is not a screw cap pen. This is a slip cap friction fit in a third O-ring that we put in the, the cap of the, of, the, of the pen itself. And so it basically rolls over a slight flare on the grip section and locks into place and secures the, the, the cap that way. And it's pretty secure on all the pens. It's a relatively um, simple process. We, we, we really figured out how to do it 
in all the prototyping phases that we did with the with the Starliner and the Galaxy, and then adapted it to this pen. Um, so the pen itself has some interesting features. You've got a rounded cigar-shaped barrel, um, and then you have a concave top on the on the top of the the cap. Kind of an interesting design. Um, we wanted something a little bit different. We haven't seen a lot of that, and with some of the techniques that we use machining these, um, we get a nice smooth, uh, nice, nice, nice smooth dish on that. It's really nice. Just an interesting design feature. Catches the eye. Um, real soft corners. Nothing real sharp on this, like some of our other pins have had. So these, this is going to be real nice to hold on to. Right now, it's. I mean, it's one of my favorite pens. You can. Uh, Balance it upside down. I, I wouldn't um, recommend doing that with a, with with it full of ink because it will leak over time just from gravity and capillary action. Uh, but so the release of these, all of these pens are going to the DC Pen Show. So we've never really done a full release at a pen show before. Um, these pens will be released at the DC Pen Show. So Bill is taking basically all the pens that we made um, in this in this prototype set version three, which are working prototypes, they're fully functioning, um, to the DC Pen Show. He's gonna sell them there. They're gonna retail for um, $120, I believe. And, and they're gonna come with two cartridges. Uh, they're gonna come with a an eyedropper pipette that is two mil that holds two milliliters of ink, and the barrel holds just about like if you fill up the pipette completely full with one 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 uh, one compression of it, it's gonna fit in there. So it's just about it's between like 1.8 and two milliliters worth of ink the barrel will hold. Um, it's also gonna come with a couple of ink cartridges, some instructions on this, but. Uh, that's really the pen in and of itself. Um, we do have some special edition versions that we're going to come out with later um, in the year. We've already started running those off. Some really nice, some really cool stuff, and, and we're going to continue to do some models of this pen. But it's a nice, um, nice size pen, kind of indicative. Like it's it's about as long as just about as long as an ink fountain pen, uh, but it's a. It's a nice size. The grip is a little bit bigger. Body's a little bit bigger. It does have a nice taper to it. It fits really nice in the pocket. I pocket carry mine all the time. I haven't had any issues leaking in my pants or anything like that. Um, and I've carried it for months now. Uh, one of the prototype versions we had sealed up. So it it it's, performs really nicely. The I'm a big fan of eyedropper pins in general because the flow rate is a lot nicer. So. Like I said, if you have any questions on this one, guys, the initial release is going to be at the DC Pen Show. So if you want to, if you want to get these, you can kind of get them there. Um, oh, grip section options for these. So we've got uh, this nice orange, translucent orange, and then a translucent red as well. This one is smoke. It's like a gray translucent. A blue. And then an amber, which is kind of a dark orange. It's got a little bit of a, kind of a reddish orange to it. Those are going to be the grip section options that we have for this initial release. And like I said, caps and barrels are going to be available in, in either black cap and barrel or a dark green cap and barrel. And further down the road, we'll add some other. We already have some other stuff that we're doing. Um, it was just these. We have a lot of this material on hand right now. So those are the options, like I said, probably going to be about $125. It will come uh, with a black and gray rickshaw pen sleeve. Uh, that's basically kind of in lieu of a box. That's how this is going to ship. It's going to come with a sleeve, all the corresponding um, stuff that I talked about before. Really excited to bring this to you guys. Kind of, we kind of flew under the radar with this one. The big release this year was going to be the reactor stuff, but in the background, we were kind of adapting some of that technology to uh, the signature series, and we came up with this, and we kind of flew through it a lot faster. We were we were not expecting to release this until the fall of this year, but we had working and function fully functioning. Um, pens now, so we figured we would release it. Since we're at the DC Pen Show for the first time, um, an inaugural release of, of this pen too. Um, really excited to bring it to you guys. If you you know, if you know, have more information, you can email us. Hopefully you're going to go to the show and you can play with these there at the show. Um, ask Bill about them, talk to him about them. Um, I'm sure he'll have 
he's going to have about 30 to 40 pens there uh, to sell and then potentially a few of the prototypes of the different special editions that we're going to do. Uh, but you can always email us or uh, text message us or DM us or you know, contact us on social media if you have any more questions about that. But thank you guys. Uh, I hope I really hope you guys like this as much as, as we do. I, I find it to be currently my favorite pen. I've been carrying it um, exclusively these past few weeks and only really using it around the shop and I really enjoy using it. It's a it's a great pen. It's probably one of my favorites. It's just super comfortable. It does one of the last things I, I did mention, it does post. Posts real nice and firm, far enough down where it adds a little bit of length on it. But like I said, any questions, comment down below, shoot us an email, and um, hope to see you guys in DC where you can handle these on your, you know, first hand. Talk to you soon.